Today we are going to be talking about um, one of the topics that's really present in our community or the most present maybe is that you may have spent a lot of time um, studying acting. You may have done all the classes, studied with all the mentors, and yet when you act, especially when you have a big opportunity, you're still feeling the pain and it still feels like it's hurting when you're acting. Uh, whether it's at the stage of learning your lines or opening up to big emotions or connecting with the part or choosing the take when you're taping. Um, I see so many different versions of, um, of this pain that actors are talking about. I see people from all different levels, you know, people who are beginning, but mostly people who are working or have been trying to work for a long time and then also per people who are working a lot and nonstop. And the level of pain um, and the, the how much it hurts to act or to audition is still really present, right? And so how does that make sense that you've done all the classes, studied with all the mentors, and that you're still feeling this level of hurt um, because you're unable to actually be super present, 100% instinctive, alive, authentic. You're unable to be you in the moment. And yet you've, again, you've studied all the way, more than anybody else. You've tried everything. I hear this story so much. And really, I want you to hear that it doesn't matter what level you're at. I was sitting with an actor from another continent not a long time ago, and he's been successfully acting for 20 or 30 years. And, and, and he was sharing the same things. Like, I have tried so many different things, all the books, all the teachers, all the best ones, you know, and it still feels so painful. It hurts because I'm unable to feel any pleasure when I'm acting, right? So it's really, really um, an, important, um, an important topic because um, it may show up in very different levels. You may feel a lot of fear, a lot of panic, um, a lot of censorship, a lot of toughness on yourself, a lot of blocks in your voice, in your body, in your jaw when you have big auditions and big opportunities that you know can change everything, right? It feels like there's some control taken over, some bitterness, some fear of rejection, some stress. Uh, stress about the lines comes even stronger when you have a big opportunity. Um, and so it's, it's kind of strange that these things don't change if you've studied a lot and for a long time and with the best teachers, right? So do you think another class or another teaching or another method or another mentor out there can actually change that for you? Um, like, do you think it's still an external thing? Do you still feel like you're not good enough and you need to fix yourself? You need to get better. You need to improve that there's something wrong with you inherently because you know everything about acting. Obviously, if you've done all of these workshops and you know, schools and, and methods, you, you know how to act. You know what acting is all about. You know so much about it. So, so why is it that it still feels so painful, right? It's not because you need another class, obviously. Um, and it's very frustrating to get to that place of like going like, oh, I have tried everything. I have tried everything. I have studied with the best and it hurts when I act and yet I'm a passionate actor or I'm a passionate actress and I, I don't want to feel this pain. I, I, I want to feel what I signed up for. I want to feel the bliss, the joy, the, the high of being another person, of defending what they want, of being part of a big family, of, of being part of storytelling, of mythology, of impacting an audience, of making a difference in a world that definitely needs to be you know, inspired and moved and touched. So it can be very frustrating. Um, and really what's happening, of course, if you've, um, you know, listened to us for a while, um, you may have a hint, but what's happening, of course, is that the more you study, the more you walk away from you, right? The more you study acting, the more you walk away from what you actually have to offer in a free and an authentic in a pure, pure, fully alive, fully free self. The more you study methods and techniques, the more you're learning how to do it right. 
the more you're focusing and putting your attention on the outcome, on booking, on, on getting it right, on pleasing, on doing a good job. And none of those things have to do with art, right? If acting is the art of, you know, what it means to be human, of what it's like to be fully alive, what you have to offer in that context, in the art of being fully alive and in the art of what, what does it mean to be human, is to offer your full, authentic, instinctive, free, alive self. That's the job description. And the more you're gonna put your energy in the method to book or to do camera work or audition skills or whatever it's called, the more you're um, entering a world where there is a way to do it right. There's something that you need to learn in order to do it well, in order to be good, in order to be liked, in order to book. Whereas what casting directors are actually crazy about, what directors are dreaming of, is for an actor to be their true self, to be themselves 100%, right? But of course you're conditioned in a world where you have to go to school and you, you're told that, you know, you don't know anything right and, and people have to teach you the right way to do things. And then you discover there is no right way, especially not in art. There's only your way that counts, that matters. It's a little bit like an analogy would be to say that if I, so we're a multilingual family, right? We speak different languages in the family. So the kids speak two or three languages. If I tried to teach uh, my kids French, if I sat them down at a table and gave them grammar and speech or spelling or whatever it means, tenses, they would never ever be able to speak French. They can't because that is me telling them how to do it and they would have to learn that. But if I actually speak French to them and let them speak gibberish French when they're tiny, their French will get perfect really fast. And that's why our kids speak different languages. And if you have children or if you know children who speak multiple languages, they do not need to be sat down at a table and be taught the language. They do not need to learn it. Quite the opposite. If you sit them down, teach them and request that they learn, they will not be able to connect with that part of them that part of their brain that's able to just move into up to seven different languages when they're little. It's the same for acting. Acting is not something you need to learn. If it's the art of being fully alive, if it's about what it means to be human, there's nothing to learn. That's just to make sure that you recover your pure, authentic, free, alive self. That's your raw material. That's what you have to offer. That is what makes you stand out. That is what makes you interesting. It's not your method or your technique. Picasso didn't paint cubic women from a method or a guru or a teacher or a technique. It comes from his, the depth of his soul, of his heart, of his uniqueness. And that's why you can start to absolutely make a masterpiece. That's how people can resonate and connect with your work as an artist when you're uniquely yourself. Because then you are connected to you. If you are connected to you, then thousands and millions of people can connect to you. But if you're not connected to you, if you're connected to a method, a technique, a recipe, people can't connect to you because you're not there. You're not present, you're not in the moment. How can they possibly connect with you if you're not 100% there? They cannot, right? So if this makes any sense to you, um, make sure you grab our free training and the link in the bio or in our about section. Um, stop trying to be a good actor so you have a chance at being great. And that will definitely help you um, move the needle and, and get back into your instrument, into your uniqueness, into your freedom, your authenticity, what you have to offer. Um, make sure that you send us some DMs if you have any questions. We also have a wait list. If you want to get some more information about the work we do, we can let you know when we get started. All right, bye.